Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we'll be having a speaking exam with Winter and Aya, but we'll be doing IOTS Foundation B. Before we get into that, let's quickly start with introductions. Can you please introduce yourself to us? Hello everyone, my name is Aya and that's Aya. I am fourteen years old. I live in my city with my family. There are four people in my family, my dad, my mom, my brother and me. Um, I am a student at Temple Secondary School. Uh, I'm in grade 9, class 9 to. Um, in my free time, I often listen to music and watching films. Um, I like to eat chicken and I like to drink milk. Uh, Sometimes I um, read comic books uh, when I have stress. Okay, next, let's go with winter. Hi guys, my name is Mi Inga. You can call me Winter. I'm 13 years old. My birthday is on 2 20th. I live in New Mexico City with my family. My family has four people. They are my dad, my mom, my sister, and me. I'm a student at Robin Secondary School. I'm in grade 7, class 7, 7. My favorite subject are math and English because in math I can understand the concept of arithmetic and geometry. In English, I can confidently communicate with foreigners. My favorite spot is badminton because it's fun and helps me uh, reduce weight. My favorite food is kung tang because this is a traditional food in Vietnam and it's very delicious. I think you should try if you have a time to come to Vietnam. And in my free time, I often listen to music uh, because this helps me relax. Uh, that's all. That's all it's me. Thank you very much. Okay, now can you tell me about your favorite sport? Uh, my favorite sport is badminton because it's good for my hair and uh, if one team can have uh, one one people or two per, uh, one person or two people, um, we use, we can use shooter cup and the uh, racket. We uh, shoot uh, to use the racket to uh, hit the shooter cup over the net. Uh, we, we cannot uh, uh, you, use hand to uh, uh, hand our racket to touch the net. Um, <laughs> my favorite sport is badminton because it's fun and I can play this ball with my friends and my family. To play this ball, I use a short cup and a racket. It, uh, there is one person or two people on one team. And uh, to win, uh, to win uh, this ball is very easy. Uh, you uh, have, uh, you have to uh, uh, shuttle, you, uh, and you have to hit the shuttle cup uh, with the racket over the net and the shuttle cup has to fall down the ground and uh, you cannot touch the net with body uh, racket and you can uh, run fast to uh, hit the shuttle cup Okay, thank you very much. Okay, the next part of the exam will be the pie charts. So each one of you will get a pie chart and you must just explain to me what your pie chart is about. Uh, the pie chart, so you population of countries of the European um, Union in 2021 by percentage. Uh, firstly, uh, it's where the uh, rest of the EU um, with 25.7%. Secondly, uh, in a uh, world Germany with 18.6%. Third, thirdly, is a uh, world France with 15.2%. Uh, uh, fourthly, with uh, were 
Italy with a 13.2 percent. Fifth, fifth, a word Spain with 10.6 percent. Six uh, word Poland with 8.4 percent. Uh, seven were Romania with a point a four point three percent in uh, in the end is uh, finally worse Netherlands with three point nine percent. Okay, good job. And let's continue to winter. Can you tell me more about your uh, the pie chart so uh, about you uh, show about you international visitor to New Zealand by a country of our region. The first place was Australia with 14%, second place was United Kingdom with 12%, third place was United States with 9%, and Fourth place was China with 5%. Fifth place was Japan with 4%. And uh, sixth place was South Korea with 3%. And finally, it was honor with 26%. Okay, thank you very much. Now, can you tell me how long have you learned English? I have learned English uh, since. Uh, since uh, 2017. Okay, and how about you? Uh, I have learned English for six years. Six years, really. Now, can you tell me about a special or beautiful place in your country, in Vietnam? Uh, in, in my country, I think the beautiful place is Da Lạt. Da Lạt is a city in Lâm Đồng province. It has many uh, Beautiful and dreamy attractions. Uh, uh, by, uh, there are uh, the Valley of Love in uh, Puppy Farm in Ho San Hu Lake. Hu Lake. Uh, in this place, we uh, have many views to take. Photos, and you can uh, go to many coffee uh, coffee shop to uh, to drink many uh, delicious uh, coffee. Okay, thank you very much. And can you tell me about the special event in your country? A special event. Um. Special day, special For me, uh, uh, special event is tech holiday. It starts at the end of January and uh, end of uh, early February. Yeah. Before tech people was uh, people in the yeah, before tech people are decorate house uh, make. To uh, cake and take cake, uh, buy bought, buy new clothes and uh, watch telephone show. Yeah. And during take, people it are people are visit relatives and friends, watch uh, fireworks and uh, give lucky money for grand. Uh, for family or for children. Oh, okay, thank you very much. Now next, the next part, we're going to change the sentence from active to passive. So I'm going to read you a sentence and I just need you to change it from active to passive. The first one is, the students sing a song. The song, uh, the song is sung by student. Okay, the next one. She buys me a gift. A gift is Bought uh, by your uh, her, by yeah. her. Right, her, yes. Right. And he tells me a story. 
the story is tell by him. Okay, and finally, the dog breaks a cup. A cup is break cup. It's broken. Yeah, the cup is broken by him. By the dog. By the dog. Okay, good. Now, uh, let's go to the final part, which is endangered animals. Can you tell me about an endangered animal or species? Uh, Bandha is an endangered animal uh, because of the uh, poor habitat and uh, slow reproduction. Okay. Anything else? No. no. <laughs> okay, good. And can you tell me more about the uh, endangered I think the animal uh, is an um, endangered uh, is panda because it uh, slows uh, it's a uh, stupid <laughs> and it's slow uh, production. production yes. um, it lives it lives in in China, in China, and uh, it had white and black fur. Okay, and that will be all for today. So everyone, let's just quickly say bye bye. Goodbye.